Artyomich, Duke, we're on final approach. Yeah, see that fire at the very top? That's the control post. Well, it used to be anyway. Now it's a shrine, Blet. Closer to God at the top, you see. That's where you have to go. I'll distract the guards now. I didn't realize I had control, really. Hey, you are sure? Catch the line! What did you do to your barge? What you gonna sell now? <laughs> oh, you're so funny! Jackass, Blit. So, Artyom, shall we move? Man? Whoever gets there first we wins. Break a leg. Main gas coming rope. Yeah. Artyom, Duke, the Aurora is quietly moving into position. We'll be ready to act on your signal. Why did he fucking catch on fire? Who knows? They are heretics. May the Zard fish devour them. Thank you for finally letting me fucking through. You see, it's Simon's back. Back? But he and Kirill vowed to eradicate all the demons. You don't just come back after that. Well, ask anyone. They got captured by heathens, but a heretic, one of the new ones, freed them. Ah, old Simon just got cold feet, that's all. All the stories people tell not to talk. No, he did not. He came back and did a huge fuss at the church and got his way too. Now we will be praying for that heretic instead of Simon. You got that? Oh, God. For a heretic? It would please God, though. That's Simon. What next? Then he just made the sign of the cross, kissed the altar, and went back to the demons. They just want to get to the other side, that's all. He's going to do the pray. And what's so nice over like there on the other side? Wipe this slate clean. Hey, brother. Oh, yes, everyone, not everyone is created the same. God save Which Simon Sawyer. Where? Where we are not. Why is that? We are the just ones. We are Father Celestius. <laughs> That's not what I meant.
it's fucking close. that there was that many. For one can cleanse himself of one power, but an eternity puts an eternal crime upon the sinner. So let us call to his eyes. Come on, Lord. And even more so, do you reject Satan's deception? That thing they call electric current. The cursed gift the enemy gave to the fools! So no, they I'm not gonna fucking miss that. Above Above God! And more powerful than him! We reject! Amen, my children! For the electric current, his Satan's temptation, and his poison! Only those who eat So you got me in their tactics. You took gotcha, and now you have me. Damn, 
you're quick, Artyom. Oh, we're just passing through. Let us through peacefully, our guys won't shoot. We've been easy on you people the whole time, and Katya asked us to take her along herself. Do you get me? Sure thing. First, you kill off the local cutthroats, and then you switch to us. Will you kill elders and children too? Or have you drunk enough blood already? Leave us for good now. God may punish you for your sins, but my responsibility is to tend my flock. That's a good boy. Hear me, brothers. Hold your fire. You hear me? I'll excommunicate everyone who shoots. Well, I did all I could. Just don't shoot. And tell the driver to keep it slow. The bridge is in shambles, so don't stop. But the bridge might collapse. You are not going to kill them. We reached an agreement. They will let us through if we don't shoot them move slowly. And don't stop. I repeat, do not stop. Over. Kill you loud and clear. This way out. All hands. Close your fire and kill the order. Artyom, let's jump! Well, that's a job well done, huh? <laughs> We left Volga behind. The endless Fuck expanses there, of bro. Russia stretched before us now. The bridge dwellers had finally decided to believe that we were not demons and let us pass. Anna was right. We invaded their world, and it's not up to us to destroy it. No matter how stupid it may seem. Electricity is a sin. Is that really worse than the lies we were told in the metro? about how the whole world was dead and there was nowhere to go? Yeah, Everybody the... in the tunnels bought that convenient lie. Once we reach Yamantau, Yamantau, we will at least know if that lie was justified. Since so far, we haven't met any signs of enemy occupation. Artyom. Artyom. Wake up, dear. Is he up yet? Artyom, the colonel wants you on the bridge. See you later. Come on. Bye bye. You did a great job there. We are not home anymore, so we'd all better act like you did smoothly. It's not like there's many of us humans left now. So I hope someday we will be able to trust others just because. She can't hurt Steve. They are people too. Am I bothering you? Sorry. I'm in a philosophical mood today. Well, I'm in a dentistry mood. You need your t fucking teeth fixed. Uncle Artyom! Uncle Artyom! Uncle Tokarev has already set his shop up. Wanna go look? It's so cool. Here, Uncle Artyom. Ah, hi, Artyom. Some other place? Fit for a king, I must say. Yeah, it's better than the back of that shitty ass yeah, What do you think of this train? Bench, eh? Everything is within reach. Yet, there's so much space left. Most of the stuff you and the guys found outside and gave to me went into making this workshop happen. So thank you. We'll have to keep pitching in like this too. Looks like we're facing a long journey and useful things like ammo or equipment don't grow on trees. Plus, the further from Moscow we get, the harder they'll probably be to get. So don't forget to collect all the materials you find to keep us going. There's so many things to do. I haven't decided where I'm going to work on the suits, but I'll have to, and soon. That it's high time we fixed our uniforms. Some of our people are starting to look pretty ragged, you know? Well, Duke's plate carrier won't hold the back plate anymore, and he jokes that he's lucky it's not the front one, or else his toes would be in danger. <sighs> Regardless, I am turning this little gang back into a real army. Well, that's it. I bragged enough and won't waste any more of your time. 
The colonel summoned you. Well, I have stuff to do too. You guys are fast to break gear, but none too expedient to fix it. But how are you going to fix the suits then? Why are there like shoe prints on that? Artyom, come on in and have a seat. Stepan's putting on a live performance here. So, Artyom, are you up for a jam? Come on, pick the guitar up. Guitar. Why is she just so modest? Like, shit, what was this, 1800s? She going on the Oregon Trail? Hi. Thank you, Stepan. Wow. No thanks to our team. I'm sorry Bitch. to ask Katya, but Nastya's father. He's dead, isn't he? Does Nastya know? He is. I tried keeping it a secret. Told her he left for the market. Around three days passed. He went to go get milk. And, kept and never came back. I just sat there with a needle in my hand and didn't see anything. It was all black before my eyes. And then she snuggles up to me and says, You should cry, Ma. You will feel better. Seeing he used to say it. So I cried and cried. She knows. She knows it all. Stop it already. <laughs> I was gonna say Sam, but he's not. Uh, Artyom, oh, what the colonel's waiting for you on the bridge. <laughs> so, what's up with your plate carrier? Tokarev was mad. Ah, it's a long story. Come on, out with it. Well, there I am, sitting on a beam, looking at Artyom milling about below. Oh, you are so full of it. <laughs> Artyom did most of the work. <laughs> that he did. Uh, yeah, he did. But you don't have to interrupt my lies. You ask me about the vest yourselves. All right, go on. Is he blonde? So like less than 1% of our population to the is the blonde. And I think it's time I came down. So I do. But something just holds on to me. What does? How should I know? It's dark. Nobody around. But I can't move. And those locals kept going on about Tsar something. So I thought I was in a kind of a bind. So? So I just unfastened the safety and leapt down. There was that shed down there. The roof was uh, kind of close. Uh, uh, and what about the Tsar? Oh, blue! The Tsar was huge! Scary as shit! And there was this rusty bolt, and my carrier got snagged on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, Duke, are lucky you already have a nickname. <laughs> Is he American? That's hilarious. And what was next? Oh, <laughs> next. Next we jumped that old preacher of theirs. Well, Artyom did most of it. <laughs> he swooped in That's like right, a hawk. motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's good. Well, I was clamoring for those like fucking pizza broken. fighting that side. <laughs> oh, I'm killing myself. He got the decoder working. Ark, come in. Come in, Ark. Over. Hey, this is Ark. Hey, uh, identify yourself. Uh, uh, over. This is Colonel Svetoslav Mionokov speaking. I'm in command of a special operations force. We have received your signal and are currently heading your way. Do you copy? Over. Yes, yes. Hey, hear you loud and clear. Who am I talking to? Uh, how do I address you? The Deputy Chief of Communications Department, Major Ivanov. A, a moment. Oh, 
Yes, Major. I understand that a checkup is in order. Great, Colonel. Um, Emelico? Simply capable. I am sorry for the lack of trust, but, as you know, the situation is dire and the enemy is always ready to strike. I do understand, Major, and I hope that you can tell the leadership that my people are true to their duty and will be at their full disposal as soon as we arrive. Over. Thank you for the great news. How large is your force, Colonel? I have a squad of the best operatives the Special Forces have to offer. A squad? Ah, uh, I see. Well, this is great. Great! Yes, we are a large force, but we bring a message of extreme importance. We are heading towards you from Sector K-6 Alpha. Do you have any data on enemy forces we might encounter on the way? Over. In just a moment, I have to check. K-6... Uh, Alpha, you say... Uh, as far as I can see, there have been no enemy encounters reported in the area, Colonel. I regret. I must end our conversation here, but know that we are waiting for your arrival. I am making my report immediately, and I am sure the Minister of Defense will be eager to see you. This is a great honor! Thank you! Just a few words more, though. What is the general situation there, Major? Please. Uh, Colonel, sir, you do understand this is classified information. Uh, but I do understand you. We are doing fine. Do not worry. Well, see you in the arc. Over and out. I serve the people. Over and out. So, do you get this now, you doubting Thomas? <laughs> I'm so excited, my hands are still shaking. I don't know, that seems fishy. Fishy as fuck. By the way, Artyom, you should take a look at the map. As you can see, we are heading almost straight for the Yamantau complex. Katya and Kress tell me that the line there is in decent condition. <sighs> Surprising, really. Taking into account the number of priority targets there. So, we can hope for a smooth sailing from here, and right to the very destination. It's not even that far, but our speed depends on the state of the track. So I think it's going to take us quite some time to get there. So, Yermak, where were we? You are saying it's all about the results. Ah, yes. 